at 60. Mike Skinner taking over the top spot. Just behind him, Clint Boyer. And the 14 of Rick Crawford now on the move. I talked about the love-hate relationship Rick Crawford has to this racetrack. He is the track record holder as far as speed and time in qualifying. Oh, problems with Craig Kinzer. A tough evening for Craig Kinzer. Such a strong truck early on. Hold the brake. Hold the brake. It was... A lot of damage. You see a spring rolling rolling down the racetrack. That came out of the rear of that truck. That truck is totaled out, Phil. Man, oh, man, what a good run he had going to. wonder what happened. I bet you our cameras, cameramen have this covered. Figure out. Everybody should be good to go on fuel. Everyone should have enough fuel to, to make it to the end, and they probably used all their they, tires. They don't have any more tires, do they? Oh, he just, just got loose. Right? Ooh, man, did he make some hard contact with the outside wall. How about how quick NASCAR threw that caution out there as well? Ooh, Kenny Schrader did a nice job getting by on the inside. So quick those things snap on you at times, Phil. Oh, they sure do. There's another view of it. Look at, he tries to save it, and the thing just turns hard right. He tries to save it again and make some hard contact with the outside wall. If he hadn't have got down on the apron, he could have probably saved that truck. But, but the flat of the apron just hooks the truck back the other direction. We saw Kelly Byers do a very similar thing, but he was up a little higher on the racetrack. He didn't hit the apron like you talk about Craig Kinzer doing, so he was able to save it. But unfortunately for Craig Kinzer, it didn't happen. Tonight was just a, a, a breakout night for Craig Kinzer. You hate to see it in like that. He could have been in the top five easy in this race. Very strong truck, and it's good to see Craig Kinzer climbing out of that machine.